Adam at Develop PHP here with another flash building tutorial. In today's lesson, we're going to show you how to create or start creating your own what you see is what you get rich text editors, the WYSIWYGs. So if you go to, well, first let's uh, look at what Carl requested here. In a flash input text box, I want to know how to get buttons that make the font style different, like the toolbar right above here. Like bold, underline, italics, and link, maybe even HTML. Can anyone help me? Because I want to add this to my CMS website. So this is handy if you're making user input forms or if you have CMS systems that you create for your clients if you're a web developer and you want to give your clients the ability to change the data on their web pages whenever they like without you having to do anything. So if you want to program something like that that in that's what we're going to show you how to do if you click post response here and this could actually turn into the community project that we've been looking to all collaborate on um, if you guys want to join me on this I'll show you how to get the system started so what we'll do is try and mimic this thing here this WYSIWYG editor this what you see is what you get rich text editor which is JavaScript based you see if I type in text into the forum and I bold it or italicize it it takes to those things or you can change the, the uh, color and we want to do that in flash and the reason why uh, this is good for us to be doing here at develop PHP is because this is a fully uh, custom program site which there's not many sites that are custom programmed nowadays so I'm struggling with the issue of giving this rich text editor this JavaScript editor to Chrome and Safari users so if you guys want to help me expand this what we'll do is we'll pop it in right here once we get it all made and plus we'll deliver it to the web as a free open source um, little flash application that anybody can use for their projects and a lot of people will use it because it will be browser universal so this one it doesn't work for Chrome and uh, Safari users and it works for Internet Explorer and Firefox users it shows up but for Chrome and Safari it doesn't so if we replace it with a flash one everybody in our forums will be able to post and format their code and everything just the right way exactly how we want it to so I think that's what we're gonna do okay let's start this flash action script 3 rich text editor so I'll click flash file action script 3 I'm in flash cs3 and you can be in flash cs4 working in action script 3 and the first layer I'm gonna name interface make a new layer on top of that we'll name this one action script then we're gonna grab a button out of the common libraries window here go to buttons and I really like these gray uh, playback rounded buttons the gray ones drag one of those out I'm gonna double click inside of it unlock these two top layers and remove the elements that are on them by pressing control X highlight and press control X and then go to indicator delete that layer and on the let the only indicator layer left let's put a, a letter B to stand for bold make it black size it right there we go make sure it gets right in there where we want it and on the overstate let's press F6 and the downstate F6 on the overstate let's make that a blue let's see how that looks press control enter oh that is static text make sure that's static text should have made the, sure that was static text first now that it's static text it will look better move it up a little one one all three okay so that's great there's our bolding button this is the button that will be used for bolding so let's make sure it's on the 
interface layer and put it up top somewhere. Now let's drag out a input text multi-line everything looks good 15 a line left now let's give these things both instance names well we can make sure we have the rendered text as HTML selected that'll be very important and the show border around text there we go now we can uh, give these instance names make this one input field keep everything named in a common sense fashion this will be bold button B -O -L -D -B -T -N. bold button and input field now we can code this these two items to interact with each other so we'll highlight the action script layer let's make sure everybody knows what this is action script 3.0 highlight that layer press F9 to open your actions panel and let's type in input field first thing is we'll make sure the input field is empty when people come to the page or if you're gonna have data put in there let's make sure we render this as HTML text or we always refer to it as HTML text equals nothing but if you are going to have data, you're going to query data from your database and pop it into that field, then don't put this line. But for the forum posting type purposes and input type purposes for online rich text editors uh, and input forms, we're going to use this. Make sure it's empty when the visitor first comes. We'll take var, we'll set up variable here for formatting the text field to bold and we'll set formats for each little one italics underlining and all that good stuff so this is text format equals oops format equals new text format now we have a new text format ready to go let's put open close parenthesis and semicolon now under that we're going to set the format bold here just grab that format bold dot bold equals true this sets the value of the bold attribute to to true for this text format and you do the same thing for italicizing underlining coloring and all of that stuff let's go to input field add event listener and this event listener is going to be for the when people click their mouse the cursor inside of that text field and you'll see what it does add event listener open parenthesis close parenthesis semicolon and inside the parenthesis this is going to be a mouse event dot click all caps and the name of the function that we want to fire off and we'll name it something intuitive sense text selection that sounds good so action script will be sensing text selection in this event listener and the function sense so sense text selection we'll create right here so we'll just say function since text selection is event colon mouse event close parenthesis colon void open the curly brace and go down a few lines close the curly brace now we have a nest set up for our little function here so inside of this function what's gonna happen is when they put their mouse like I'm doing here I got my mouse on this word and I'm highlighting it right when I click down that's when this event would fire off on this text field on that input text field so right when I would click down even if I didn't highlight any this is going to fire off and start sensing things 
So inside of this function, we're going to type in bold btn, and we'll give this bold button an event listener. So we can just grab that whole thing. Control C. Boom. Now we have an event listener inside of that function for the bold btn to make bold. We'll name the function that fires off here make bold. And when we get this function written in right now, we're done. Shows you how easy it is to make one of these. Function make bold. Actually, let's just grab all of this here. Function change this to make bold. See here. Oops. Function make bold event mouse event void close up that nest for that function. And inside, we're going to type in input field <coughs> dot set text format and you see all these things that are turning green in here these are all native to ActionScript 3 to where you can go and research really well what each and every one of these things do I know a lot of people look at my scripts or a lot they look at code online and they look at it and say what is that thing doing? I have no idea what it just looks like Greek and Chinese to them. It's because all of these things can be researched and you understand exactly what it's uh doing in this in the script. Otherwise, it's just some word. You don't understand what it does, you know? And when you set text format, what you can do is li listen for certain things and and place certain things within the text field. So let's put the first thing inside of this um, set text function or set text format function. We'll uh, or method rather. We'll put this formatting, which is bolding, the desired formatting we want, and then we're gonna sense the cursors so let's here let's look in this right here on line one there's character one two three four five six right there at the F if I was to highlight that word field it's gonna set the beginning index at six and then the ending index is gonna be six seven eight nine ten it's going to be ten that way flash will know exactly what I have highlighted the whole section and then it will perform the bold on it. So let me show you how we do that. Here we're going to type in input field input field dot set I'm sorry selection selection begin index and this is how we sense where the mouse or the cursor is the beginning of the highlighted section now input let me just grab this here input field dot let's grab all this too put it right there dot selection end index and that again get that accesses the ending point so now flash knows within this method here uh, exactly where I've highlighted the text and then it sets the bolding format right here see there's three things inside of that three arguments there the formatting we want the beginning position and the ending position it's that simple it's not any more complicated than that so um, I think we're all set. We can probably, hopefully, we don't get any errors and everything works. Export. Let's type in, hi, my name is Adam and I am new to this planet. And if I want to highlight new to this planet and make it bold, 
Booyah, baby! Adam creates rich text editing for the world open source. Let's go ahead and uh, make this our collaborative project. Because this thing is really cool. We can just put bolding, underlining, then put color uh, selectors, uh, anything we want to put in there. Smileys. Uh, you name it. So, uh, it'll get more and more complicated as it goes. I mean, this is just a really simple demonstration. I mean, you see, anywhere you want to highlight and bold it out, then you have a submit button down here. Bada bing, bada boom, it sends it to the database, and now your information is stored in the database with nice formatting, any formatting you want. And since this text field is set at as HTML here, render as HTML, then it preserves all of that, gets thrown into the database, and even if you wanted to display that data on HTML, it will still respect the formatting that Flash gave it. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, we'll see you in the next lesson, and if nobody wants to join me on this, I'll expand it myself. Nanny nanny boo boo. Bye bye.